It was a very exciting day for us because we, you know, we had bad weather, so we ended up having to combine two, two grades, grade five and grade six. And then we had a wonderful presentation by uh, Jason McDonald, and he was wonderful with the kids, and they learned a lot, and they were excited, and it was good all the way around. I spoke to them about fire prevention and uh, we have a couple of different components with our fire prevention. Not only are we doing the traditional stop, drop and roll, working with smoke detectors, we're also throwing in the carbon monoxide detectors, we're throwing in a stranger danger component as well as a drug use component. It's a big safety message, it's just more than fire prevention, it's a big safety message. Well, the purpose of the project is about capacity building and in encouraging change in the community. So, it's, it's, so fire prevention is one of the big issues that we identified as a, as a safety concern for the community of Akwazasne. So it's very important for us to teach our kids about injury prevention and, and then from that they take that knowledge home and they, they tell their parents and they tell their brothers and sisters and so the information gets shared and, and, and so it's a learning for everybody. I learned about fire prevention and how to install and fix your fire alarms and test them. Use the back of your hand to check the door. If it's hot, go through a window. If it's cold, slowly open the door and, and crawl out by the door. We learned about fire safety and how we should get out of the house safely and we should always have a plan. and check our fire alarms t twice a year, and if there were to be a fire, get down, crawl, and uh, the back side of your hand, touch the door and see if it's warm or hot. If it's cold, then you can open it slowly and just get out of the house. It's important because it's a life or death situation. If it's a fire, then you've always got to have a plan to get out of the house. I want to give a big Nyamagoa thank you very much to Richard, firefighter Richard Dick Laffin for putting this program together and then he has entrusted me to help continue to spread the word. Once you go to sleep, say that again? Exactly, you're never going to wake up. Too many people die in a fire which is unnecessary when it comes to not having working smoke detectors, when it comes to not, not knowing what to do when there is a fire. To educate the, the youth, what has occurred when we educate them, they go home and they will tell their parents. They're more often than not, we will be getting phone calls and the parents, well, my child just came home and said I have to check the smoke detector. Or they came home and they're all excited and they want, want me to take them to the fire station. The message gets out to the kids because we have to educate them. Once again, there's unnecessary deaths in today's world that can be prevented.